Some controversy tonight surrounding a historic golf course in Oak Cliff. A developer could be eyeing the site for hundreds of new homes in the Redbird area, but many neighbors living near the golf club of Dallas say they don't want to see that project happen. Damon Fernandez reports. It's a quiet community in Oak Cliff. Longtime neighbors call Winwood Hills a hidden jewel. And it's more like a down home type uh, neighborhood. A community where large and modest homes surround a gem called the Golf Club of Dallas. The wildlife is there. The streams, the creeks, there's a lake, there's a dam. But a proposed plan to develop this historic golf course and its property has some neighbors up in arms. To tell their council person what our feeling is about what is about to happen no, it's to not. our neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> Hundreds of people packed a community meeting at the golf course clubhouse Wednesday night. The crowd passed capacity, spilling from every door. To hear from Philip Huffines, his company, Huffines Development, is under contract to buy the private property. If there's housing here, what kind of housing do you want? Last week, Huffines' brother and business partner, Donald, was also a state senator, told me the company's looking into building more than 500 homes here pending zoning. A signature community, he called it, with houses ranging from $250,000 to $450,000. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. I don't care if they build million-dollar houses back there. We do not want it. Period. At this meeting, Philip Huffines seemingly backtracked, saying there is no solid development plan. If they're going to buy a $300,000 house, they're not coming to Oak Cliff, not on Redbird Lane. There were some tensions after a majority of the neighbors made it known they wouldn't support a massive home development in this location. You haven't relayed to me that you would like any kind of a nice community. Yes, sir. <laughs> neighbors took Huff Hines' nice community comment as a jab. Moving forward, Councilman Casey Thomas suggested a task force meet with the golf course's current owners and discuss the issue again at another community meeting. Damon Fernandez, Channel 8 News.